Uh, Mr. Vice Chairman. Thanks, Madam Chair. Uh, Director Clapp, let me just uh, address for one second your comments relative to sequestration and just initially say that um, uh, we are spending too much money in Washington. I, I don't think there's any disagreement about that. And actually, the reduction in $1.2 trillion in spending is, is not a bad idea. But your reference to the way in which we're doing it is exactly right. It's a foolish way to reduce spending to tell every aspect of the federal government you don't have a choice. You're, you're mandated to reduce spending across the board by whatever the dollar amount is in your specific agency or your office. Um, let me just give you the assurance and everybody here uh, at the table the assurance that the, the chairman, myself, and every member of this committee is committed to ensuring that the intelligence community does not suffer from the lack of resources. One thing the Constitution is very clear about is that it is the role of Congress to provide for the national security of Americans, and we intend to honor our obligation. You and the men and women that work under you are very professional, and you're doing your job. You're doing exactly what we ask you to do. So we want you to know that we're committing to do everything within our power to ensure that the resources are there to allow you to continue to do what you're asked to do every single day. Senator Chambliss, first, I very much appreciate that. Um, I think on, on behalf of the men and women of the entire intelligence community, um, now more than ever, we are dependent on uh, particularly our two oversight committees, this one and the House Permanent Select Committee for Intelligence, to be our stewards and our advocates. That said, let me stress that I am not, and none of us are suggesting that we won't take our fair share of the cuts. Sure. All we're asking for is the latitude on how to take them to minimize the damage. And I, I know you mean it exactly that way, and, and uh, we're going to have your back on this as we go through this. It's not going to be easy, but uh, we're going to work hard.